So we're thinking about rabbits today. It is the year of the rabbit after all. Uh, last week we had that book called Muncha 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 that we enjoyed and today I have a different story about a rabbit. It's this story by Kevin Hankus called Little White Rabbit and it got me wondering. I started to wonder if animals can be inquirers. Can they be curious? Can they ask questions? Like my dog Boo think he's curious. I mean, like he'll put his nose up to things and wonder what's in that hole or what's in there. Or he might say, when's dinner? Those are some questions he might ask as an inquirer. But I don't think he ever says like, wonder what it would be like to be a horse instead of a dog. I wonder why I was born a dog. Or what it would be like to be a dog in Paris versus Bloomington. I'm not sure he has that level of inquirer in him. But in this book, this rabbit is really looking at the world and asking some questions. It's a short one. I hope you enjoy Kevin Hankus' book. Ooh, look at the end papers. They're so pretty. They get us ready to listen and think. A little white rabbit. Kevin Hankus, Little White Rabbit. Little White Rabbit hopped along. And when he hopped through the high grass, he wondered what it would be like to be green. Only one way to find out. I can't wait to see what happens next to this little white rabbit. When he hopped over by the fir trees, he wondered what it would be like to be tall. Get ready for it. Oh, yes. I bet you could draw a bunny and you could draw a tree. You could maybe even make a giant bunny with a small tree. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? When he hopped over the rock, he wondered what it would be like to not be able to move like a rock. Ooh, it's raining. Ooh, it's getting darker. It's night time. When he hopped under the butterflies, he wondered what it would be like to flutter through the air. Can you picture it in your mind before you see it on the page? Well, here's what Kevin Hankus thinks it might look like. <laughs> See how he gets you to feel like something's fluttering by drawing the ear and then like little images like the ear? It makes it, you can do that with a dog's tail too. You can just put little lines around it and people will think it's wagging. <laughs> when he hopped past the cat, he was too frightened to wonder anything. <laughs> and away he went. <laughs> I can believe it. So, he turned around and hopped and hopped as fast as he could. And soon, Little White Rabbit was home. He still wondered about many things. He's just an inquirer. He wondered about many things, but he didn't wonder who loved him. I'm pretty sure. This grown-up loves this little one, and that is a fact. See you in the library.